Zoho Books Tutorial How to Use Zoho as a Complete Beginner Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on Zoho Books. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you can go to books.zoho.eu or if you have a Zoho account, you can just log into your Zoho Books. Zoho is an amazing corporation with a lot of different tools and softwares uh, that we get. We have a lot of different, you know, um, softwares from Zoho, but we also have an accounting software, which is known as Zoho Books. Uh, so the signing up process is really easy. If you do not have an account on Zoho, you can go ahead and create an account with your email address. Once you have an account, then this is where you will get after your initial sign up or log in to your Zoho account. So I will be giving you a tutorial on Zoho Books. What are the different features and tools Zoho gives us to meet our accounting needs? Once you are on your dashboard, so you can see we have item option, banking, sales, purchases, accounting, reports and documents. This is going to be my overview where I will be able to see my cash flow, my income and expenses that I have created on Zoho Books and we have our top expenses. So Zoho is like having your own accountant where you don't have to pay it or you don't have to carry documentation, files, everything if you're running a business. You can just, you know, create an account on Zoho and you have your own online accountant so first of all what we can do is we can create items so i'm going to click on this plus icon right here and it will allow me to create an item so we have type goods or services so i'm going to go ahead and create a service the name is going to be online session all right so we can select a unit uh for me it's uh, there's not going to be any unit selling price so my currency right now is gbp but you can select usd or any other currency you want so the selling price for my services are 59 dollars, and then we have a cost price which is actually 10 dollars. then we have account which is sales and then we, we have cost of good sales and no we can create categories here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go with uncategorized for now we can enter a description and others so this is how you can create an item and i'm gonna click on save now i will be able to create my invoices or i will be able to create expenses and keep check of this item that i have added on zoho moving on we have banking so banking means that i will be able to check all of my accounts that i have and i can add a bank so to add a bank or a credit card you can go to banking and then you will click on add bank or credit card it will take you here and you can see we have paypal we have all of the different accounts and credit cards that are available in my country so i can just uh, select from here and then connect my account to zoho so this is how you will be adding an account then we have sales options so in sales we have customers estimates invoices payment receives recurring invoices and credit notes so let's go ahead and create a customer on zoho books i'm gonna click on new right here and then we have to enter the first name for our customer so it's going to be harry last name is cheddar the company name so the company name for them is medium uh, name of the customer that will be displayed so i'm gonna go with harry okay then we have customer email it is important so i'm gonna enter an email address after that we have customer phone so you can enter a phone number as well their website we can select a currency for them so we can actually deal with our multinational clients or we can deal with our domestic and our global clients as well by selecting different currencies so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the country for them which is their currency so that i will be able to give them uh, invoices really easily and it's going to be euro so this is going to be the change rate according to my currency i can also enter their address now contact custom fields reporting tags and remarks but for now i'm just going to click on save and my new customer will be created and within my zoho books now i can check their transactions i can send them a mail i can upload and attach any kind of file i want and in new transactions i can create an invoice for them i can create an estimate for them i can create an expense for them and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to create an invoice now so we can create an invoice from here as well but i'm going to click from 
here and it will automatically select a customer for me so you can see i have harry selected already because i you know kind of like created an invoice for him but if i wanted to go with this option then i will have to select a customer um so this is going to be my invoice number we have invoice date so this is where i have to select an item uh, so you just click right here and it opens up the items that you have added to your zoho books so this is the item that we just created i'm gonna select it when it comes to the quantity they kind of like availed three of these so this is going to be the rate and this is going to be the total rate for them keep in mind the currency look at the currency right here it's for the client and it's euro because i added this currency for the client we can also add a note terms and conditions upload a file click on save as a draft or save and send an invoice will be sent right now or we can also schedule it so I'm going to save it as a draft for now because I'm just creating it for the purpose of the video. So now we know how to create an invoice. Similarly, I can go to estimates right here and I can click on new estimates. And then we have to select the customer name. I'm going to select another customer, which is Anna. Estimate number. This is the estimate date, subject, uh, whatever subject you want to go for. And then we have to select the item. I'm going to go with the same item. When it comes to the quantity it's going to be two so this is going to be the subtotal for this client and i will be able to create a new estimate for them again click on save and send or save as a draft i'm gonna save as a draft for now and an expense is created similarly we can create estimates and expenses uh, moving on we have purchase and in purchase we have vendors expenses again bills and payment made so creating all of these different things such as expenses and invoices it's all the same even if i show you let's say that i want to add a vendor so i'll just go to the vendor option right here click on new and then it will open it up for me and now i can add a new vendor just like i created a new customer we can add a vendor so you just have to enter their first name then you will enter their last name we have company name we have display name vendor email similar to that but they will be shown in a vendors list not in the customer list so i can create a bill as well payment made and vendor credits so you just open up the option from here and then you can just click on new and it will take you to the window where you can create credit for the vendor where you can create bills for the vendors and payment made so now i can just you know enter a vendor name uh so to add a new vendor let's just actually go to the vendor and i'm gonna just click on new so once you have entered the details right here for the vendor click on save a new vendor will be created so now i can just go to the vendor credits click on new select a vendor that i just created then I can enter an item for them. You will see all of your item list here. So maybe we can go with the other one and I can select the quantity and then the total will be shown right here. We can add more than one columns in our invoices or in our expenses, anything. Just click on add another line and you will be able to add it. You can also select the account from here, quantity, rate and amount. We can also copy this one and like clone it to the other lines. If you want to delete a line, you can just like cross it once you're done you will click on save as open or save as draft uh, so this is how this works sales and purchases and all of the different options and then we have accountant options so in accountant we have manual journals so once i i am on manual journal i will click on new journal and it will open it up for me and i can create a new journal for my accountants right here and then we have bulk updates currency adjustment so this is where i can do the currency adjustments and you click on make an adjustment and you can see like you will select the currency from here and then we have date of adjustment rate and notes and click on continue so this is where we take care of all the currency issues then we have chart of accounts transaction logging and reports in reports i will be able to get insights to all of the different reports from business overview sales receivables payment received purchases and expenses and more so this is how you use Zoho Books. I gave you a beginner's tutorial. You get started with your email address and then you get all of these different features and tools. Using Zoho is really easy and it gives you all of the different accounting features you need. So go ahead and check out Zoho Books right now if you are looking for an accounting software. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.